What's good, you bro? I'm on break. I gotta jump straight into the video, man. If you know, I want your like, share, and subscribe, show some love in the comments, dog. But look, y'all. Last night, dog, I damn near shit my pants. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, so I get off work as usual, like any other black man in America. I go get me some food, bro. So I drove to the Meyer real quick. You know, they close at 12, it's 10. You know, I gotta get in where I fit in. So I'm in there, you know, I grab my food or whatever. Now, if you know me, I'm a fat ass. You see, I got grandma's cookies in my hands, bro. I got a sweet tooth like a motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie, like, I gotta have a snack, you did? So, I go get my ice cream and my Reese's, you know? That's the snack for the night. And I got all my food and I pull back up to the crib around like 11 something. Tell me why, dog. As soon as I get out the car, I'm walking up to my fucking apartment, bro. It's a fat ass dragonfly blocking my door, dog. Like a big ass dragonfly, bro. Now, as a kid, bro, I don't know what it was. When I would see dragonflies in the streets, when we see dragonflies flying around, niggas used to always just say they bite, they sting, all type of shit. So now we like. I got this this stigma in my head, like nigga, it's a demon on my dog. Nigga, like it's a demon right here, dog. He flying around blocking, bro. The nigga blocking me from getting in the crib, bro. I'm so irritated. So I'm just thinking, like, bro, like this nigga might fuck me up. Like I don't want to get stung up or bit or nothing. Fuck around, be you know, get a rash or some shit. So I'm like, what the fuck should I do? So the nigga, I ain't gonna lie, I stood there and just stared at that motherfucker for a good like five minutes, bro. Like a good four to five minutes. I'm just staring at dog. He just staring at me. He flying around. Now, the thing that's making me mad, though, he not just standing on my dough. The nigga flying in the fucking circle. And y'all know dragonflies got the most unorthodox flying pattern I've ever seen in my fucking life. Like, bro, they fly like here, here, and they just zip, zapping around and shit. The nigga, but then it was a light right, it's a light right there. He's flying into the light, bro. His wings is flying so fast, so it just sound like, it just sound like something constantly smacking. So it was like it was like a weird sound. Then he'd fly out the hallway for two seconds, come right back by the door. The nigga was getting then you know how y'all know how bees look when they be like stuck at the window or some shit and they start getting irritated. So bees, like bees be pissing me off. I'm cool, I'm cool with bees, but they be pissing me off too. Like they can't get out, so they just be stinging the window type shit. So I'm thinking like they all look more and more irritated as he flying into the light. And I'm just like, why wow, this nigga keep flying into the light, dog? So I walked back to the car. I ain't gonna lie. I walked back to my car, nigga, and I sat down for about for about two minutes, and I was just overthinking and thinking, and I was looking up do, do dragonflies bite, you know, all type of shit. I'm looking up all type of shit. I'm, nigga, it's a quick little history lesson. So make sure nobody walking up in my car. I get the courage. I'm like, fuck it, man. I'm about to just walk right past, dog. You feel me? And let him be. Cool. I grab a hat though. I grab one of my hats out the back seat. That's why I ain't back there right now. I grab, I'm about to grab my hat. I grab my hat out the back seat. The fuck is this on my shirt, man? I grab the hat on my back seat for protection, right? So I'm thinking like, nigga, if he fly towards me, he getting the meanest combo of, this, of, of a snapback the nigga ever seen in his life, bro. Like I was gonna put dog down, simple. So. I'm walking up the stairs and I hear him still flying until I told you just this weird ass smacking sound, screeching. And then it's I'm telling y'all, this nigga had to be like, bro, the dragonfly was about like, bro, it was like this fucking big dog. The nigga was making me so mad because he just, I'm like, dog. I go up the stairs, I'm creeping up the stairs, right? I'm like, I'm about to try to creep past him. Now look, now the nigga posted up. He not flying around. He posted up now. He posted up on the light. So he's literally standing on the light, on the light now. He's just sitting on the light. But he on the side that I got to pass. Soon as I get to the stairs, the nigga start tweaking again, right? I'm like, fuck it. I'm about to just go straight in the building. Nigga, I make a run for it, dog. I hit like two bob and weaves, dog. I get to the door, nigga. It took me, bro. This I'm telling y'all, this was the longest it ever taken me to open a door in my life, dog. I'm struggling to get the key in the hole. And then and then I hear like the wind. Y'all know how flies be in your ear like a regular fly? 
Nigga, the dragonfly was so much worse. Like, he was way louder, and he flying into a light, so I hear him just wigging out, and then he came right by me at one point. Nigga, I, I damn near got the tweaking. You feel me? Finally got the door on, like, boom, I ran in the building. I'm like, thank God, bro. And it was making me mad because I was hearing the nigga all night, y'all. Y'all. So, you know, I'm safe and sound. I'm in the crib. You know, I'm irritated because, like, my ice cream melted a little bit. Um, because, you know, I'm fucking around with this nigga. Y'all, tell me why in the middle of the night I hear a clanking and, and, and it's banging outside my apartment. So, you know, I go to check the scene like any grown man would. Bro, tell me why my neighbors is fighting that nigga too, dog. I'm looking through the peephole and shit. I see, I see a, a long ass fucking like Swiffer jet, like nigga out they coming out they door by the fucking light, nigga. They they on guarding with that nigga. And then he he you know bobbing and weaving, bro. And then I see him run back. I see them run back in the in the, in the thing door closed. And then dog came back out. And now, it ain't just a Swiffer jet. I think he went and got his girl. She got a broom, nigga. She's hitting it with the broom, dog. They caught dog lacking. They dropped his ass off. But I was just so irritated, bro, having to walk in from that. Like, nigga, I just got off a long shift for work, bro. And I got to deal with, like, I don't know who up my complex, bro. The window, see, because it's like every door, you your door leads to your shit. But we all share, like, a little hut or whatever. But somebody opened the window, bro. I don't know who opened the fucking window, bro. Like, somebody had the window open. I'm about to go close that bitch when I get to the crib, dog. Because I told, I don't know, man. If y'all see my workout video, I said that shit, bro. It be all type of, like, fucking, it be bunnies over there, bro. It be them big, dumbass mosquitoes. Big-ass mosquitoes, nigga. Spiders, like, they be deep, bro. Them insects and them animals be deep as hell, bro. All type of species, nigga. The fuck is birds under all the fucking... All the uh parking parking spots. It's a bird nest everywhere. So yeah, dog. Yeah, that shit. I'm gonna have to go figure something out. I, I need to go get some bug spray, spray the outside of my door and shit. I don't even want niggas, I don't even want an insect to feel like they even could be safe by my door. Like I'm I'm about to just I'm killing everything from now on. But peace up positivity, that's all I preach. I just wanted to come talk about that, man. Like I don't know. I had a long night last night. I might have...